welcome to today's tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make these. These are bloomers, which are sort of Victorian undergarments. Really fun to wear on your skirt or just to play around with. So stick around for my tutorial. I have laid out my fabric, folded in half as always, with the outsides towards each other. So the insides are out right now. We're also going to need scissors, a measuring tape, pinning needles, a pen to draw on the fabric, and elastic. And obviously we're going to use white thread. The fabric that I'm using today is the same that you've seen me use when I made that bolero top. So this is a stretchy white satin fabric. We're going to be making um, two parts of these pants, so I'm going to start drawing those out right now. I'm going to need four measurements for this. The first measurement is the length I want the leg to be. The second one is the measurement of my waist. third one is the measurement of around my legs where my pants are going to stop, so about pretty high up on my calf. And the fourth one is from my, wa my waist to my crotch area. So those are your four measurements. I'm going to start drawing this out now. These are my measurements and the waist and calf measurements are marked because those are going to be for the elastic. The outer, outer pant leg length and the waist crotch length is what's going to determine how big my pieces are going to be. I now have two pieces that are the length and width that I want my fabric to be. The marking you're seeing here is from the top waist to the crotch, which is 25 centimeters, and we're gonna add a couple of centimeters for the hem that we're gonna be making. So now I'm gonna draw this into two enormous pant legs. I am now marked and I'm going to cut this. Okay, so this is the outline of my enormous pants. <laughs> so first thing I'm gonna do is pin the, the outer sides on both and sew the two pieces together. I'm also going to sew this part right here. From the calves to the crotch and back down. So sides and crotch part. So what we have now is basically an enormous pair of pants. What we're going to do now is hem the waist as well as the calf parts right here, but we're not going to sew all the way around. We're going to leave an opening for a couple of centimeters so that we can pull the elastic all the way through. So I'm going to pin my hem and then sew it almost all the way around. So I left a couple centimeters for the elastic. All three hems are done. Now we're going to cut the elastic. Now we took measurements for our waist and for our calves earlier, but just to make everything right, we're going to try these enormous pants on. And just check where on our caps they're going to end up. So they're gonna be over here. So I'm gonna take this measurement for my calf, cut a piece, stretchy piece that matches, and then pull it through and do the same thing to my waist. is not twisted anywhere and then sew the two edges together and then we're gonna close 
this opening right here and then, then do the same thing to the other leg and to the waist. By going back and forth like this a couple times, we ensure ourselves that it's really, really shut. Okay, so I'm pulling the ribbon back in and then sewing this shut without sewing into the ribbon. tight around my waist but if you want your bloomers to go higher up than this then you need to add more to your crotch measurement than I did so just start measuring higher up 